are going to fly Technum P2000 and diesel. This is Massimo, my flight instructor. Buongiorno. I need jet fuel. My name is Konstantin Fedchenko, KFE Avia Aviation Sales. I'm your aviation advisor and today we are in Napoli. What are we doing in Napoli? We are going to fly Technam P2010 diesel. And I'll show you beauties of Italian East Coast on tomorrow's flight. And now swimming time and a little bit of the city tour. Dangerous. That's awesome guys, they're right here one day before just to swim in Napoli. Guess where we are going, of course. Morning. It's time to say goodbye to this nice city and head towards Capua. Agostino, buongiorno. So as always, final stage of planning is in the taxi to the airport. Checking latest notams. Our route looks like this. Departing Capua, crossing at 5,000 feet, 6,000. Then I will descend for you guys 3,000 feet or so for nice views. We'll follow the coast. Hopefully we'll do a circle over Venice. And land and Venice Lido. This is Venice International and we will land 
right just here and I hope you will enjoy this sightseeing tour today and also I prefer to have the airport where I'm heading to to get informed beforehand so they know that someone is arriving with the purpose of this and that so I'm writing them an email looking as simple as date time to their airport departure from the airport purpose of flight payment method and jet fuel is required because this is a diesel engine Buongiorno. Grazie okay, mille. <laughs> Paperwork check, the pilot's bag, which contains pins, logbooks, the manuals, aircraft flight manual. Yeah, I had that an electronic version, but just to double check that the serial number and everything is correct. Garmin 1000, a lot of reading. Pilot's guide. Cockpit reference guide. A lot of reading before you get used to, to that. Special operations in Capua. And now the second bag, which is containing documents by sections. Section 4. Section 4. Propeller Form 1. Engine Form 1, which is here. Section 5. Logbook propeller logbook and so on This is Massimo my flight instructor and we're gonna be doing acceptance flight and then we will see how things are going Hopefully no problems at all Good flight today will be good sightseeing. I will follow the coast You will see that a little bit fresh. Yeah Whenever you're ready, I am ready. Check it. Okay, we will check this out. This and cabin inspection performed before engine start. Pre flight inspection complete. Parking brake set, seat adjusted, seat belt locked, passenger briefing no passengers. Master switch on, standby instruments on the incoming. Bionic master switch is on. Doors closed, thrust lever idle, fuel selector well set, electric fuel pump goes on. Engine propellers on clear, engine master switch on, generator switch goes on. On and engine starter okay. on. Okay, start the engine ready. Clear prop. Clear. Release. Oil pressure in green. Okay, speed is checked, 95, yeah. first flaps. Yeah, up to 100 is no problem for takeoff. Mm -hmm. How was that? Great! Grazie mille! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! Perfetto, bellissimo! Grazie mille, guys! <laughs> okay, here I am on my own. So let's do it before engine start checklist. The flight inspection completed, parking brake is engaged, seat seat belt set, power briefing is the same. Clear prop! India Papa Delta Victor Foxtrot. Yeah, Delta Victor Foxtrot. Good day. Pass your message. India Papa Delta Victor Foxtrot. M1 Capua. So 
guys, we are cruising at 6,000 feet, 1017 on QNH. Garmin 1000 gives you perfect overview of what's going on around. I'm planning actually to descend 3,000 feet to Point Ezodu to show you Pescara and the coastline. It's getting a bit warm. Outside the air temperature is plus 24. I think if I descend will be a bit hot. We will see. Time to change the Pescara, I guess. Uh, Brindisi, India, Papa Delta, Victor Foxer. Just checking if I need to change the Pescara now. Negative, sir. The box over uh, Ortona, Vimo Ortona is uh, Bravo Papa Sierra Echo 2 for frequency change. There is instrument traffic approaching Pescara. I am proceeding point Ortona, next Franca Villa. We'll be just along the shoreline and descending 3000 feet. Everything for you guys. Foxtrot approaching Franca Villa, one minute ago. Victor uh, Foxtrot, uh, Roger, clear to cross panel 2 to report your pass 11. Uh, clear to cross runway 2 to pass in 3300 feet, 1017, descend in 3000, India Victor Foxtrot. India Victor Foxtrot, Roger, report to Monte Silvan. I will call Monte Silvan, India Victor Foxtrot. This is Adriatic Sea guys, I'll show you some videos from Montenegrian side and Croatian side, it looks very different. Here is nice too, however it's very different. The distance between is only 90 miles, let's say, but the difference is very significant in how things look like. The views are nice, but I prefer to program the FMS, even if it's a VFR flight. And here you have these visual reference points. Look, they are also coded like this. Papa Yankee Sierra Echo 1 You can select it by this knob Like standardly or you can Just go on the map Go onto the map and then Menu Load waypoint and it appears in your flight plan What else can be easier as this? And of course when I want to see something I just switch to heading mode and do what I like to do Temperature is plus 28, a bit hot, but I descended here for you guys. Polonia, buongiorno, India, Papa Delta, Victor, Foxtrot. India Papa Delta Victor Foxtrot, lead up. India Papa Delta Victor Foxtrot, 1500 feet, 1016, uh, currently passing Porto uh, di Malamocco, uh, 3 miles to the east uh, due to other traffic, and um, just requesting if it's possible to fly in the class Golf um, uh, north of, air, of airfield, uh, just one circuit and then come for uh, landing. As you report uh, on final at 05, KNH 1016. 1016 will call you final 05 in the Victor Fox Road.
Buongiorno. I need jet fuel. Um, I think I need the ladder to go up, if you can. Buongiorno. You will not believe, but I need cappuccino. I mean, a cafe. Un latte. Da, caffè latte. Cappuccino, no cappuccino. Hmm. Caffè, caffè and milk, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little. Un caffè macchiato. Caffè macchiato. Bravo. <laughs> And that's very simple. We we'll go in the time here. The original departure was 1230. I'm changing here 1335. Close. Filing changes. Perfetto, bellissimo. So good time to go. It does in. Just to show you outside before I go. Sorry, I took a cup of coffee. <laughs> Nobody drink coffee, I think, but I won. Landing fee 34, 36 euro. <laughs> Forgot the flaps. Yeah, walk around and there we go. The performance is quite cool, I like the plane. Radiator. Landing gears. Hinges, <laughs> flaps you can see very well. Baggage compartment. This is the outflow. Okay, all good. Let's go. Pre flight inspection completed, parking brake engaged, set, seat belt. Okay, seat belt, seat belt. Seat belt set, passenger briefing not required, pilot briefing, flight controls. Free, trust lever, free, master switch goes on, master, uh, engine master switch off, master switch goes on, standby instrument, check. Performance fade test, uh, checking that parameters go up and down, fade test completed, now force B, meaning the second magneto and full power second magneto showing force b cancel alarm and check in full power okay It would be cool to have some fun there. Do you remember guys? I came here to Lido. Believe it or not, the water is perfect. Okay, 1500 not above and heading, heading mode. My Klima Foxtrot Charlie ready for departure, holding point runway 05. Delta my Klima Foxtro Charlie Lido, uh, no traffic report to the runway 05, wind 130 degrees 8 knots. So I took the ferry boat to Lido and I swam for like 15 minutes and came back. It was an adventure. Uh, look at that. Trampolino. This particular aeroplane is equipped with Garmin 1000 NXI, which allows you to have functions, for example, level change function. So you select flight level change, you select desired altitude, and then 
you adjust not vertical speed you adjust indicated airspeed and then upon reaching selected altitude the airplane will stop its climb Padova buongiorno India Papa Delta Victor Fox India Papa Delta Victor Fox Padova buongiorno Skokai Skokai Night Dance India Victor Fox Delta Vitor Fox, Padova Radar Contact, left Cowley and uh, enter control the space by a uh, Riffen climbing to 6000 feet on QH 1015. 1015 clear 6000 feet to Riffen in the Papa Delta Victor Fox. When you press ident, the signal from the transponder enhanced by blinking on ATC screen. That happens when they have a lot of traffic if they don't have identification of an aeroplane at the time of the contact. Here is the other traffic. Wide, narrow, okay, it's easier to, okay, in third, okay, one to go. Wide, flight plan. We can see the other traffic on the map, but it's 2500 feet below us, so yeah. Engine parameters, all in green. Oil temperature, hmm. It's getting a little bit on the warmer side, so I will decrease the thrust. I will increase the speed better. I change to... So we have flight level change, and we increase the speed, let's say, 93 knots. India Papa, v Papa Delta, Vitor Fox, Padova. Go ahead, please. Can you tell me a uh, reporting point after Riffen? After Riffen expecting proceed Lupix Lima Uniform Papa India X-ray. Okay, thank you very much. I have two and a half miles to Riffen, which is border crossing, and they don't transfer me to Ljubljana, I think I asked myself. Padova, India, Papa Delta, Victor, Foxtrot, uh, two miles inbound, Riffen, request frequency change. Yeah, Papa Delta, Victor, Fox, Roger, contact Ljubljana, one to four, decimal eight, eight, zero, ciao. Ljubljana information, dobar dan, India, Papa Delta, Victor, Foxtrot. The view is nice from that castle, look. Want to go, just because the weather was closing over there, to my right, I um, decided to climb 10,000 feet, or maybe even higher, and then we will see whether we go left or right now it looks okay in the front maybe i take a bit to the left because on the right is not so not so sunny i would say A bit of cloud surfing just to remain VFR VMC. As always, over mountains, you know, the air is rising and it gets cold, and the moisture is appearing in the form of cloud and then rain, and uh, it becomes unstable, and yeah, many things. So, all these clouds behind me are over mountains ridge beginning of alps and in the front is vfr vmc maybe i ask to proceed renka 
Так, Лагинсон, Индия, Папа Делта, Виктор Фокс, и Фоссабл, Реквест, Ренка, Фром Прайвен. Индия, Виктор Фокс, да, Виктор Ренка. Ренка, и Фокс, Индия, Виктор Фокс, Данки. Перфект. Just to confirm, left 3 to 0, India, Victor Fox, left. FM, left 3 to 0. Left heading 3 to 0, India, Victor Fox, left. Prosciutto. Mozzarella. Perfetto. The lunch time. Flying in Austria is cool, I just had military operating area and with the information they give you vectors anyway and they also worry that you are in good VMC conditions if you fly VFR VMC. They say if you need any assistance, don't hesitate to tell us and everything. So I like to fly here. As for performance of this aeroplane, let's take the book. Performance, cruise performance, page 18. Page 18. So we are cruising. Victor Fox, contact Wien information, one two four decimal four, goodbye. Uh, information, one two four four, India, Victor Fox, don't care, he doesn't. Uh, Wien information, good afternoon, India, Papa Delta, Victor Fox, 10,000 feet, one zero one nine. Proceeding point is the gun, squawking 7,000. So, the cruise performance, by the book, 75%. Pressure altitude 10,000 feet, 75%, should be 26 liters per hour, and cruising speed indicated airspeed, aha, it gives you true airspeed, 123 knots. We are not at maximum takeoff weight, of course. We are about 1,000 kilograms now. With 75% consuming surprising 17.3 liters, and we are making 134 through airspeed and ESA plus 13. We are doing even better than it is written in the book. As for endurance, this airplane can take 8 hours flight without any problem, and it consumes Jet A1 fuel, which makes it no problem to refuel almost at any airport in the world. And if you cannot buy Jet A1, you can buy the diesel fuel from the gas station. Automatic report. Echo. Time. 1450. Wind 260. Degrees 12 knots. Variable between 200 degrees and 290 degrees. Visibility not available. Cloud fuel temperature 28. Dew point 13. Human H 1019 hectopascal. Information echo out. Information echo Straubing weather is airport. good. In Straubing here is good too. We are still in Austria by overflying some lakes. Cruising at 130 knots through airspeed with a bit of headwind, 23 knots. Austria, Germany. Descending initially 4,000 feet, India Papa Delta, Victor Fox, 1019. So from now we do 4,000. Flight level, ah, uh, now it will be vertical speed. And nose down with 500 feet per minute, which is shown here. And check vertical speed 500 feet per minute. This speed is increasing, therefore decreasing the power let's say 60 percent and see the trend so we don't do over speed on the aeroplane also when we go down the te the headwind should decrease as well well that might not be the case <laughs> India 
Victor Victor Foxtrot Information Hotel is uh, current. Uh, runway 27 in use. Uh, runway 27 will check for the wind there, Victor Foxtrot. Correction in the Papa Delta Victor Foxtrot, uh, just to check uh, what the procedure should be for me. India Victor Foxtrot, um, next report right downwind, runway 27. Okay, we'll call you downwind, runway 27, India Victor Foxtrot. Now I'm gonna get the plane. No, it looks pretty okay. Looks pretty okay here. I'll close the pito. Install warning. Checking if the pito is hot by any chance. If I forgot to switch it off at the time of descent. But actually, I had it just a few times on, just in case. This is protection for the stall warning. around even after the flight to make sure that everything is okay with an aeroplane and there we go <laughs> the fuel from the drain and there we go I'm heading to the hotel to have some good rest and be ready for my tomorrow flight. If you have any questions regarding the flight or an aeroplane, please write in the comment below what you want to know and what would you like me to tell about this or other aeroplanes while I'm flying. As well as this, there should be some pins for the control surfaces and they are in the baggage compartment. The baggage compartment is only open from inside by pulling this knob see how operation happens you have the nice lighting you can also access baggage compartment from the cabin while you are in flight that's how it looks like you have to lock your aileron to the winglet like in case of today the wind is blowing from the back and tends to move the aileron but now it's fully secured. And one more thing I want to do before I'm leaving this aeroplane for overnight stay is the wheel chocks, but we don't have them. So I just use this tow bar and I put the wheel, the nose wheel right over here. Because parking brake is a parking brake, but who knows? This way it won't go anywhere. Of course, I will set the parking brake too. So I'm gonna be locking an aeroplane right now and leaving it here until tomorrow. Technum, you know my bank account, huh? Steinelstam Info. Hi. Thank you, nice to meet you.